what is popping you guys it is me for it is she but it is vira it is scorpion reds tarot i am back in the building i hope everybody is doing good shout out to all my og shout out to all my newbies shout out to every last one of my babies who has clicked this video thank you so much for liking sharing and subscribing if you want to book a personal or private reading go ahead and click that description box and shoot me a message in my email at scorpionreds at gmail.com or it's inbox me on my instagram messenger and um i'll contact you and we'll get you in where you know we'll get you in there so listen today we're doing a all signs reading how do they feel how do they feel i have my little transparent cards here so we're going to get like some transparent feelings so let's see what comes out today if y'all hear some music in the background it's my daughter playing the tuba okay so before we get into today's reading let's just say a quick prayer father god hold on let's Father God, thank you so much for coming down, bringing us here collectively, collectively gathering us. Father God, I thank you for waking us up every day, making us know that we are blessed and highly favored. Father God, we want to bring the uh, spirit of love. We want to bring the spirit of abundance. We want to bring the spirit of happiness. We want to bring the spirit of progress. We want to bring the spirit of just like overall satisfaction in our life. Father God, we thank you for every day you show up in our life and just like our, your presence is just known and we just appreciate every single thing that you're doing in our life in this moment father god please give each sign the goddess that they need to receive today and every day in jesus name uh, amen amen and amen all right so let's get into this so aries let's get into what the tea is how is the person currently feeling about you? So I have a whole bunch of different decks over here. I have four decks over here. I have four decks over here. I'm just going to pick wherever the decks are like guiding me to. So I have this deck over here. So I'm going to use this deck for Aries for your central energy. And I'm going to use this deck over here as a terrifying deck. All right. So Aries. How is the person feeling about Aries? What's the T? How is that person feeling? One card for the center energy. Thank you so much. We got the gardener. So this is someone that is trying to plant seeds with you. This is someone that is trying to build something with you. This is someone that sees potential in you. And sees something fruitful that could grow. This is a very skilled person. So, especially sexually, I can see that this person is a very skilled technician in bed. A very mature, masculine energy, you know. Um, this can also be like a feminine energy. Like, even if it's a feminine energy, like they're a builder. So, this could be an earth sign energy. This is someone that's very grounded. Please give me guidance about how this person, the gardener, is feeling about Aries. Thank you so much. How is the gardener feeling about Aries? Okay, cards. Okay. So you got the emperor. You got the knight of pentacles. And let's see what we got at the bottom of the deck. We got the Knight of Wands. So this person is definitely taking action towards you. They're taking their time at the same time. It's like before they're just like being too quick to make movements. They're scoping you out. They're seeing the potential of it working, things growing. Remember, like I said, this is a gardener. This is someone that likes to plant things, that likes to build things, that likes to... Um, do things with the intentions of there being um, success and progress in the future. Do you understand? They're not going to plant seeds that's not going to bear fruit. That is a waste of their time and energy and a misuse of the soil. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like the gardener, they're going to take their time. They're going to study you. They're going to study the land each plot of land is different. They need different fertilizers. They need different things to help 
the things that you were trying to plant to grow you need to pay attention to the seasons you need to pay attention to the region and what grow what crops grow in that region like this is the type of person that does all of that with this page i mean with this um knight of pentacles do you understand what i'm saying it's like they're not going to move too quick but when they move they're going to they're going to strike while the iron is hot so I feel like this is someone that's made a decision on you, Aries. They definitely want to move forward with you. You have the emperor energy. This is someone that is a leader. This is someone that is a protector, that is a provider. And if they want to take you under their wing and make you a priority, they want to... Uh, they feel a sense of uh, graciousness and responsibility for you, Aries. So this is something that you could be looking forward in the future. I feel like this person is definitely going to... And they're a well-dressed person. <laughs> they dress to impress. Like, this person is impeccable. Like, their timing is impeccable. Like, this person does not waste time. They do not waste energy. They spend money on their look. They will spend money on you. They like to go out and they're a very sporty type of person. You will be out in the industry with them i don't know if this is an industry person but whatever they do i feel like they are a boss they are a leader they are the emperor like a lot of people look up to this person so like you kind of fit the bill you you are um sustainable enough for them that they can carry you around and and, and you're not going to tarnish their brand if that makes any sense. So it's like whatever test it was that they could have been putting you through, Aries, like you passed the test. Okay, so like shout out to you, Aries. Let's get into Taurus. Taurus, I feel like I want to get over into the tea leaf cards for you. So Taurus, let's get into the tea. Yee yee with me. Yee yee. Let's see what we got going on with Taurus. Ooh. Okay. Give me three cards for Taurus. How is this person feeling about two Ooh, Taurus? Okay, you got the claw, the unicorn, the mountain road. You got marriage under that deck. Let's see this one. One more under this. You got the rabbit. Okay. So, Taurus, the way this person is feeling in regards to your connection, we have the claw. Be careful. Do not take risk. The unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. This is a rare situation. It's a rare situation at hand and you're trying to balance yourself right now because it, 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 I feel like the Taurus is mm, okay mountain road you're on the road to success marriage astral house a marriage so this is like a major arcana so just off this top row right here I feel like this is a unique situation um I don't feel like right now it's a safe time to take a major risk there is marriage on the table like a major commitment I don't feel like you're willing to make that yet you are really trying to like use your intuition at this moment I want to say like this is like the needle in the, like you found the needle in the haystack that's how you feel. This is a fair man. You could be light skinned. You could be uh, have light colored hair, like sandy blonde hair, like really light colored hair. Uh, you got freckles. It says ceilings or relationship with the man with blonde, gray, or white hair. And again, I'm getting like light, light complexions, light fair skin. Um, you got the boat. Money or property. Through inheritance, winnings, or a windfall. So there's movement, pen, a new career, or a job. 
and then the rabbit too much concerns with sexual matters so there's about to be like a major change coming to you Taurus I feel like there's going to be not so much as a concern about in your connection because the 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 marriage is right above this rabbit thing it's not about sex you know what I'm saying like sex is a major part of everything yeah we get it but it's about more than that it's about more than that I feel like you want somebody that you could build something with because you have a lot of things coming up the pike for you you got the mountain road you on a right road to success in regards to your jobs and career so you need someone that you can be able to outside of y'all just laying down and basking in the climax of you just you know having <laughs> amazing sex and eating amazing food you know how Taurus do like I want someone that I could talk about my dreams that I could talk about my goals like I'm really trying to get to that mountaintop like I don't want to leave no stone unturned you know no gold left behind like I want somebody that I can really build something with and that I can celebrate my accomplishments with because tour I feel like Taurus is like going through like a rebranding a restructuring they are changing in a lot of ways not so much worried about sex and sexual things but about their foundation in work career and marriage their home and you know the home for Taurus is very 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 important look it says money or property through inheritance winnings or windfalls you see the boat things are moving use your intuition and they're telling this man ooh, not to take risk not right now Taurus don't take risks, especially if it has anything to do with affecting your money. And that's just period. Let's go over here and just let's speak transparently from Taurus. Uh, ooh. These cards are really slippery. Slippery. Mm -hmm. Tease me. Uh uh. Hey, believe me, believe me. Uh uh. Cause I'm flexing raw reads and you can count on me. Screw screw. <laughs> Alright. I'm just gonna take one from the top and the bottom. And so, oh, okay. Alright. Alright. Okay, so you got the Nine of Wands and you have the moon here. So I don't know if y'all can see. Huh. Let me try to do it like this. Can y'all see this? Can y'all see this? So I feel like the Taurus right now is like burying secrets. It's a lot of things that is just going on inside at the moment. It's a lot of things that the Taurus is not telling the person that they're being involved with about. I want to say that they're even protecting this person from things that they don't know. It's something about a risk that needs to be taken and needs to be evaluated in this situation that they are kind of like caught in the bind right now and I feel like they really can't tell you about it and they're really trying to like use their intuition use their inner guidance to kind of figure out just naturally what they should do a Taurus is a bull like they they are they don't fear anything. I want one more card. I want one more card here to just kind of like, you know, clarify. One more card. What is this? Is this the temperance card? So... 
Yeah, this is temperance. So, it's like... Uh, it's like they're trying to find some, like, peace and harmony. They're trying to make a decision that's honestly about to change their life. Um, I want to say they're doing some refocusing in a lot of different, like, priority buckets in their life. And they want to make you a priority, but there's a lot of things that they kind of have to handle on their own. And it's like a spiritual, uh, <laughs> it's like a dark night of the soul right now. It's like, I only want to say that they're damn near about to change identities going from one thing that they used to know and used to be into something else. And it's like, I don't necessarily know if I'm willing to take that risk right now, but it's like they're really trusting on faith, trusting on their ambitions and trusting on their goals. Like Taurus is a very goal oriented people, you know, so it's like in, their, in certain aspects, there is certain things going up in their life right now in regards to finance and career. But there's another thing that they want to, you know, I feel like in this marriage card. They want to bring it to balance, but it's like they have to bring it in the right way and they don't want to bring it in with any type of, you know, bullshit. So it's a very unique situation to be very transparent. So let's get into Gemini, my, 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 Gemini. Y'all, oh my God, because I feel like we got to go cutthroat with you guys. I'm going to my tarot deck. Let's get it. <laughs> let's get it. Hold on. We got to quit my 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 Gemini let's get it baby let's get it let's get it let's get four cards all right we got this is the one it came out in the reverse though but I'm not taking the reversals it says I have obligations no I had to take it in the reverse this is not the one I have other obligations come on okay what are the other two cards saying We'll fight for this love. I know you will fight for it. Got the hustler in the reverse. And under the deck, what is this? They talk to their family and friends about you. Okay, so... I want to say this. It's like... Gemini, Like you know this is not the one. But it's something in you that it's like... You will still put up a fight for this situation. Because it's like you really fuck with this person like genuinely but I don't feel like this person has the hustler ambition in them that you need like Gemini's like people that make money they like people that are go-getters they like people that are like in the mix you know what I'm saying and it's like this I feel like this person is like a slouch like this person I want to say like could possibly live off of other people type of thing like that and they would do that to you if given the situation do you understand what I'm saying so it's like this is not the one it's like like I they they have other obligations they have other obligations and they do talk to their family and friends about you because I feel like they do, they respect the fact, they respect your feelings about them. Let's get over here. Let's, let, let's clarify this deck. I need four. I just heard I need four cards. Let's go cutthroat. Let's go. Let's go. How is this person feeling like? What's the truth here? You got the king of water. You got the two of fire. That's too much. What is this? You got the king of air in the reverse. I don't like the king of air in reverse. And you got the ten of water. So, and under the deck, you got the star in the reverse. So, mm -mm, baby. This is not the one clarified by the Ten of Water in reverse. Baby girl, you are a star. You see you right there in this. In it. Do you see your silhouettes? Do you see your fabrics? Do you see everything that you have afforded in your life? 
you are the nine of cups you absolutely are i feel like the only thing that you are missing is your person is the ten of cups like you are fine by yourself and that is the thing that i, I feel like you need because in the Ten of Cups don't even necessarily have to do with um, like a marriage and someone being in your home. I feel like financially you are stable on your own. Emotionally you are stable on your own. I feel like you have your own Ten of Cups and your own abundance in your own home with you just being single in your family right now. Like don't feel like you have to like abide by. And again, but it, 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 it's like some just because I feel like there's a lot of Gemini's like agreeing with me right now because you do not have to feel like you need to be in a relationship because that is the status quo of what everybody feels like you like like you are completely okay with you being absolutely fucking single okay you know that these people are losers and you're okay with it and you know what i feel like you might be the one to have other obligations baby to <laughs> look look and i don't know listen i don't know if y'all be on the low on some same sex ass shit Hello, how you doing? I didn't mean to put your tea out there, baby, but hello. I feel like you might be interested in something else, you guys, with this two, two of wands. There's a few Geminis that have other obligations, and it could be like a same-sex situation that you were trying to figure out. You might not have tapped that water yet, but I honestly feel like, and again, this only, this only applies for the people that it applies to. But I feel like the person that you truly might have a, a real connection with is not who you think it is or it's not in the gender that you think it is. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like regardless if this is you having the other obligation or not, that person may have other obligations, but I feel like you do too and you have not really paying attention to it because if you really paid attention to the people that really cared for you and the people that are really doting on you and, and, and really love you the true shit might be right in front of your face and you not even like you not even getting it I want to say it's like your best friend or something and do you see how these people are like taking pictures you see how these two are like posing or something it's like y'all do shit together or something like that nah but I just heard OnlyFans but let me mind my business bitch let me mind my motherfucking business okay Gemini my 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 Gemini bitch get money okay let me stop hold on anyway <laughs> You got the will fight for this love. So, you got the masculine energy right here. Like, they're going to keep approaching you. They're going to keep on pouring on to you as long as you um, allow them space and opportunity to. Like, they're casting over. They know how to sweet talk you. Like, you could try to sit there and look yourself in the mirror. Like, look, bitch, when this motherfucker call me, you're going to be like this. And you're going to sit that and you would be like nah cause brah and brah and brah and bitch and as soon as you get on the phone with that motherfucker that nigga know exactly what the fuck to say be like what no cause you know how I feel and I just are you really quitting on this like don't give up on me I just and then you gaslighting you and you just uh, girl had you all mixed up in the blender and stuff like that but this person I feel like genuinely they're going to continue to approach and i want to say because i feel like there's some cross watchers watching this and this may be you needing to pay attention to this for the gemini female that you're dating because i feel like this gemini female she is like good on her own like she does not feel that you are the one um and i don't even feel like she's dating other people it's just like she's like a professional single ass bitch and like she is not you know she don't she 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 just no you know what i'm saying like i don't i just don't feel like you're the one she has other obligations i feel like she may possibly be bisexual and does and, and, and hasn't even tapped into it hasn't even looked at it she doesn't even know that that's in her but it's going to come out eventually so that's why the cards are telling you that this person isn't the one because they're not that attached to you because they're not that attached to anybody right now because 
I feel like this person really doesn't know their self yet. And I know that you will fight for them, but I feel like you need to find like a different hustle and ambition. And then at the same time, for there's, there, there's a Gemini that needs to know that this person is not a hustler. This person is the... <coughs> excuse me the king of wands i mean the king of swords in the reverse to me is a liar is a manipulator it's like almost the magician in the reverse they just don't have the other tools the only thing that they can do is have that word game and that mental ability to make you feel like you're the one that's doing something wrong that you need to do something that you know you need to like you really gotta watch out for a motherfucker like this because this is a person that legitimately will have you out there doing their bidding and like putting yourself out there in a the line of fire while they sitting back chilling just being the mastermind of a whole bunch of fucking fuckery. And it's like when you look at him, does he look like a very trustworthy type of person? No, he's all out for himself. So for this to be in the reverse and for like him to not have like that hustless ambition, I'm not even going to turn that back around because baby, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. You need a hustler. You need a go-getter. You need that person that uses that intelligence, that ability to read people, and to direct the room in an appropriate way. Not for their self. Like it's just, it's just. Mm -mm, I don't like it. And they do talk to their family and friends about you, but I just don't feel like it's in a good way. So. In regards to like the masculine energies that are watching this for a Gemini, in regards to this female that I'm saying like that is a professional single woman, like she has no intentions. I don't even think that she really likes men like that, but I don't think that she realizes it. And it's like every man that she talks to about her family about is not the one. Like it's something wrong with them because like her true soulmate is her best friend. And she just does not realize it. And eventually this person will come to it. But at the end of the day, they don't see their they don't see their self with that star in the reverse. So until this person can see their self, they'll never be able to see you. And they'll never speak about you in the light that you truly deserve to be spoken on. So I really feel like there's someone here that deserves better. Have it be that you are the Gemini that has like some ancient ass motherfucker around you that does not deserve to even be in the same room to breathe your air. Like, oh my God. And then there's someone that just has a woman that I feel like knows herself and is comfortable with herself. But at the same time, is still just a caterpillar and hasn't even cocooned herself to go through that internal process to, to, to morph into that butterfly. She don't even know who she is. And if you introduce yourself and if you deal with this woman at this time, you are going to get hurt when she find out who the fuck she really is. So don't even invest your time right now. Do y'all y'all get me? Amen. Let's keep it moving. All right. Cancer, what's the answer? Let's get into the T yay yay with me. Yay yay. Okay, let's get into it, baby. I am reloaded. Cancer, let's get the answers, baby. Let's find out what is going on. How is this person feeling about you? What are their true feelings? What's the T? Give me two cards. Give me two T cards. You got the bride. Okay. <clears throat> and you got the peacock, pregnancy, and wealth. Okay, and what we got under here? Woo! You got the triangle. Indecisions and choices. Oh, my God. I feel like someone's wife is pregnant again. Your wife is pregnant again. You guys are expecting one more time. But I feel like there might be something that someone is not being open and forefront about. And you better not be putting your wife through no stress in this pregnancy. 
Let me find out what the hell is going on. Wife engagement, pregnancy, wealth, choices, triangle. Uh-uh, I need to know what the hell this damn triangle is about. I need another deck, y'all. Hold on, y'all. I need another deck. I need another deck. Hold on, I'm about to use this deck here. My old school baby. Hold on, because I'm trying to tell you, honey. I'm like, no. What is going on? Tell me what's going on here. Tell me what's going on with cancer. Please clarify uh, the bride, peacock, the triangle. What is their significant other want to say? What does that person want to say? Give me four cards. I'm going to take it. You got the eight of chalices. Got the ace of pentacles. You got the judgment in the reverse. You got the queen of wands in the reverse. Mm. Is it her? Is it her? Hold on. Hold on. Ooh, ooh, cancer, cancer, cancer. Tell me the answer. Cancer. What is it? Ooh, you got the devil in the reverse at the bottom of the damn deck. <laughs> Adios, mijo. Oh, my goodness. Gracious me. Gracious me. So, I look... I feel like if someone is just tired of this shit, there's someone that is absolutely tired of this shit. I feel like they got pregnant while moving on. I feel like there was a lot of shit going on in this like marriage. There, there there's a marriage. There's a connection going on here, and I want to say like I just seen business, so there might have been some infidelities at somebody's workplace or something like that. It's not. I just heard this is not a place where you call home. It's like this person feels that regardless of how they may make things look on the outside to other people, the wife in the situation with this cancer feels like <laughs> goddamn confirmation that this is not a place that they would typically call home. I feel like they're pregnant again, but I feel like they're pregnant by their husband. I don't feel like they are pregnant by any type of outside source, but there is cheating. There's cheating going on. There is a triangle going on. And I feel like someone has been struggling, trying to resist and trying to let go. And it's like they feel like they are trapped and bound in a situation that they don't want to call home and that is not home. And then you got the seven of wands here as well. So it's like someone has been going outside, like going to extreme measures to try to hide and protect and defend their self. And it's like, I want to say their lying has got to the point where they'll break down crying, trying to defend their self against a lot you, you you know what I'm saying it's like you know it's like something that they really are not prepared for it to come out they're not prepared to deal with it it's like this is something that has been like a long going addiction uh I, I hear like a I just heard an infestation of the brain like it's like their brain is like infested with and overcome with Oh, Jesus, Lord Jesus, I don't want to hear that. But um, it's like 
it's like I'm it's like you're rejecting this shit in a way it's like I really don't want anything to do with this anymore it's like I'm pregnant again it's like I feel even more trapped like I will never get out of this situation and it's like no matter what you say it's nothing that you can say that can defend your actions about some shit that I knew you were going to do it's like this is I don't know if this is learned behavior this is like habitual repetitive behavior but it's like you it's like the person the bride wants the fuck out of it it's like they feel like they are too beautiful they got too much coming for them in their life you know what i'm saying with this ace of pentacles right here so it's like this pregnancy is a gift um it is a blessing but at the same time i feel like it's And I just seen education. I seen business and education. I don't know if you have met somebody that works in the education field or you do some type of business with this person. But I feel like y'all just be laid up talking to each other. I don't even feel like there's any type of sexual intimacies because it's like uh the the woman could be rejecting the person right now because they she got too much other shit going on and i feel like she's pregnant by this loser and then you got the world right here so it's like some permanent changes is coming into the cancer's life right here you got the judgment in the reverse so it's something that I want to say you've seen the evidence, you know about what's going on. It's it definitely is affecting you and your offspring and your children. It definitely is. Damn, I just heard a roll call. I just heard a roll call of situations that are being brought up right now that is just like some pure bullshit and it's just like i want to say like it's like god is pointing out a lack of judgment on both parts because it's like you're having a piece of humble pie and having to eat it because it's a lack of judgment on both parts and i mean i'm not meaning to go in on anybody but i just have to read how i have to read gemini and then what is this the, the queen of wands in the reverse i want to say there was infidelities on both parts There are certain people in the situation that is not. I feel like the man in the situation is going to say that they're not sure if the baby is theirs because I want to say that you could have did some shit that you were ashamed of too. It's like, I feel like both people are hiding secrets that hasn't came out yet and that won't come out because the, the queen of wands in the reverse is not a faithful person. She's not at all. So it's like you did a little something and he did a little something. But at the same time, there's a pregnancy right now. There's a triangle going on. Uh, this could be your husband, baby, or could not. Because now with all of this shit that I just seen, this listen, it could very much be his his baby and it could not. And I'm just keeping 100. So, <laughs> let's go on to Leo. Leo, what it be, yo? So, I'm being guided to go to my crystal deck. Okay, y'all y'all just bust out like that. All right, with the pink egg. What's going on with the pink egg? Okay. What's going on with this? What is this? This is the, the Lapita light. It says transition, release, change. Lapita Light says change is coming and Lapita Light is the perfect crystal to help you with those transitions by becoming aware of bad habits and patterns. We can release them and make room for new ones that sustain a healthy lifestyle. Lapita Light helps us let go of attachments to old behaviors and addictions, clearing away emotional ties and stories we tell ourselves. The Peter Light encourages self-love on all levels. Even if we need to step away from our hold on, even if we need to step away from our current way of doing things to establish trust. Write the story you want to live. The sign of Libra and the planets of Jupiter and Neptune. Okay? All right, the sign of uh, the planet of Jupiter is the planet of luck. 
the planet of Neptune is the planet of illusions. Hmm. All right. So let's see what we got going on for you guys. I'm being guided to go into the tea. So let's get into the tea with you guys. And when I cut the deck, I got the coins. So I'm going to take that. And then I got the lightning. So I want to say that there's going to be a sudden surprise and success and an influx of money. It says control your anger or you will be sorry. Money is coming to you. But there is, and then we were just talking about bad habits and, and, and all of these things like that. Leo, if you allow, it's all about perception. It's all about perception. You are very popular. A lot of people know your name. A lot of people speak on you. Your name is spoken on before you enter the room in a lot of circumstances. So you want it to be spoken on in a very good light. I'm being guided to go to my entrepreneur dad. Hold on. Let me go grab that. Uh, that's why I need to get me some more decks, honey. Because I'm going to start doing these a little bit more. And whenever I feel guided to pull from my decks, I'm just going to go grab them and get the mess later. Give me guidance. Because it's, it's, it's certain financial things that are coming towards you, Leo. And I know we're trying to figure out, like, you know how somebody feels but like you need this message because I don't want you to mess up your money it says believe and go live so I want to say like especially if you guys are like are um, uh, an influencer be careful of your to be careful you're drinking. I don't know why I'm just getting be careful you're drinking. Be careful of your drinking and be careful of the way you respond to your followers. Like everybody's not going to agree with you, and there's certain people that are going to challenge uh, your knowledge and your way of thinking just because people don't necessarily agree with what you're saying or challenge your uh thoughts on things that don't like don't belittle them and like pound on your chest like i'm the i'm the king you know what i'm saying because i'm you know like don't do that you know what i'm saying like i feel you will regret it in the long run because you'll see your um viewership start to plummet you know, because they'll feel like, oh, this person is cocky. This person feels like they're a know-it-all. They can't have, like, a healthy debate. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like they want someone that can temper their self in a way where it can be a level and healthy uh, conversation going. It says, say yes to believing in yourself and in your business vision move forward knowing that your success is assured believe and then it says go live build an audience wait build an authentic relationship with your audience by hosting a live session around topics on social media okay okay you got grasshopper and Fox says this situation in the balance requires careful handling, shrewdness, and resourcefulness, especially in business. So why is all of this business and, and like stuff coming up in regards to? I don't know if like the person that you were dealing with, Leo sees you more as a business opportunity than love because that's kind of what i'm getting it says a dark woman so brown skin dark hair i see like long dark weaves like that has a lot of like hair or just long hair just a lot of hair brown skin a lot of dark features dark eyes What's going on in this situation with Leo? You got the horse. It's a short journey. And then what is this? You got the wish bone. The wish should be granted. 
in the bear danger especially and money matters so I feel like I just heard like there's a competition in money I don't know Leo if you were dating or talking to somebody that sees you as a financial come up it's like money is coming you know and it's like they really do believe in your success and your ability and i don't know if you were like a social media person or you just like extremely popular but like you are like live you know you will live and and this person loves this about you it's i feel like you want to control your anger because in regards to this woman, I feel like this person may see you as an opportunity. Look, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Sly, slick, trickster, like very skilled, you know, schemy type of person. A situation in a balance that requires careful handling. Control your anger or you'll be sorry are y'all following me leo have y'all ever seen a situation where i'm getting like a hanger on like a person may be dating you because of your popularity who you are it's like they might just want to be seen in your lives type of thing like that to see if they can gain subscribers if they can gain followers if they can gain notoriety danger especially in money matters I don't feel like this person would help your career and your success endeavors at all I feel like this person sees this as an opportunity. Like, this is just a short journey. Like, they don't... I feel like... But, but, they see this as a come up. They see this as a wish granted. And it's like, I hate to, like, kind of put that to y'all like that. But it's like, that's what I'm kind of seeing out of this situation, Leo. And I really want you to kind of, like... Give me two cards to, to clarify the situation with Leo. Please tell me how this person is dealing with you. It's feeling. What's the tea? What's the tea with this Leo situation? Please give me two cards. Thank you. You got that ten of water. And then you got the justice in the reverse. So again, I, I, it's like. I just heard they're not looking at you the way that I do. So, again, I feel like there is an opportunity that could be made way out of here that you are not looking at. Like, you are not looking at. This person sees you as the Ten of Cups. This person sees you as financial freedom. This person sees you as a person that is like the gatekeeper to their possible notoriety and success like the ten of cups is like ultimate fulfilling like everything i could have seen but with the justice in the reverse it's like they're not going about it in the right way they're not going about it in a way that is like it may be frowned upon by other people you know that's just like women that are really young and extremely attractive and you see them dating these old ass fucking men and you like oh yeah they're dating this motherfucker for financial come up they're not even remotely attracted to it. like that's the situation that i'm getting here you know what i'm saying and it's like i don't want you to embarrass yourself because i feel like y'all could be on a live one day and this bitch would do something because this is a fucking wish grant and she just could not wait to get on your fucking live and it's going to piss you off because it's going to finally be transparent and evident exactly why you're here. Exactly why you're here. <laughs> and again, it's a transition. It's a release because I feel like these type of situations that you get yourself into with these type of individuals is something that is all too familiar 
You feel what I'm saying? And it's like something that you need to break out of you. That you have a hard time resisting. Like these type of females or these type of... You know what I'm saying? That... Mm -mm. Alright, so what we just did. Leo, who are we going to next is Leo Virgo. Right? Virgo. Let's get into Virgo. So... I am going to get up this. Let's get the T cards. Let's get into Virgo. How is the what's the T? What's how's this person feeling about Virgo? We got the tree. Give me two more. We got the dolphin. What's the last card? How is this person feeling about Virgo? I seen the heart when I split the deck. And under the deck you got moose. So you got the tree stability and growth. You have the dolphins playfulness, cooperation. I feel like you two are a good match. And then you got the heart. You got new love and love. And then under that deck you got the move acceptance and eccentric. I feel like this person may be a little bit older than you. But I feel like you really like this connection this time. I feel like this Virgo is really not into dating people that are too much older than them. Especially if it's a female. It's like you was not into the old cat daddies with the caddies, girl. You was not. You like someone young and hip and fit just like you. You was not into the bullshit. Do you understand what I'm saying? But I feel like this person is tall. Kind of got that salt and pepper gray hair. Tall, slender, with a body to remember. Okay, do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to the folk? Are you tired of the not? Can you tired of the bow, bitch? Hello, bitch. I'm <laughs> bitch, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Bitch, do your ears hang low, bitch? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Tip of that dick be caressing your heart crevice, don't it, bitch? Hello? <laughs> Girl, listen, shout out to all my skinny niggas. Shout out to all my skinny. But I feel like this person is very, like, energetic and youthful. They like you because I feel like you're younger than them. You know what I'm saying? It's like you kind of remind them that their heart could beat again. Like, I'm getting, like, a very positive connection here. Let's see what we got here. Let's go on. Let's find out what's going on. Ooh, you got the Five of Cups. You got the Ten of Wands. Okay. I just heard this like kind of remind me of like a past situation a little bit. I want to say it's like kind of triggering. You got the three. You got the tower in the reverse. And then you got the star. And under the deck you got the page of wand. I mean the page of swords. So... I feel like you two have definitely been looking into each other. Because I feel like both of you guys are kind of skeptical. It's like, I feel like both of you guys are kind of skeptical about this connection. Both people in this situation is looking for something that is stable, that is fun, that has like a level of tenacity. That's not going to grow stale. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't want to just sit in the house up under each other and don't do shit. And we just let the years pass us by and the children get older. And we just, I, it's like, I want a love that's going to grow over time. I want something that's going to constantly develop. I don't want to feel like I'm just trapped in some bullshit. It's like, I've done that before. I feel like both, both of you guys have come from, like, heartache. You both have come from a, like, everybody has a past, but there's one of you guys where it's like, it's so recent, where it's like when you look in the mirror, you can almost still see that person. Because you know, like how you say that you've been with someone so long where y'all almost start to look like each other. It's like, a few of those wrinkles, like that person put them there you know what I'm saying so it's like again I feel like there's someone that is a much older than the other person much older this person is younger and they like that 
I like that. Like, there's one person that's come a very long way with their self. And it's like they're rebuilding. And they're going to keep building. And it's like they're at that ten of wands. It's like they have, like, basically completed a stage of their life. It's like they're finally able to start again. And it's like now that they found you, it's like they're really ready to kick some shit off. You got the star here. It's like you give them milk and honey. It's like you are what a grown man prayed for after coming out of a divorce, a settlement, your kids graduated. It's like I'm getting like a new leap of life and it's like I got this beautiful young lady that is mature beyond her years. It's like she's young but... She's so mature. And she fits into my life. And she fits into my lifestyle. And it's like. You guys have a lot of fun with each other. This person is always taking you out. Like. I want to say like early. They are like. I want to say like probably after like maybe three four months. Or something like that. They are like. Introducing you to their social group, like they definitely are taking you on a like a lot of social outings and stuff like that. I don't feel like you you you're definitely not going to meet the kids or anything like that yet. This is someone that wants to probably take like two to three years and just spend time with you, just dedicating and developing time with you before they go too deep with introducing you to. The real serious family and friends and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they they let you kick it and hang with their buddies. You know what I'm saying? The ones that they really, that they like to show you off with. You know what I'm saying? Like, not the real deep people. Because I want to be able to enjoy this. So, with this tower in the reverse and the page of swords in the reverse... Again, they want to be able to enjoy this. They are not into fixer-uppers. They do not, you know, and it's like, as some aspect, I want to say that they did expect this because it's what they prayed for. For you to have the dolphins with the three of cups right here and everything like that. And again, you could meet this person at a social event, like a friend of somebody could have hooked you guys up with each other or something like that. Like, I... I the way that you guys connect is going to be in a social environment. A social environment. Because I feel like on a communicative standpoint, I don't know if I'm saying that right. You guys just sit and talk to each other for hours. Hours and hours. I could do this for hours and hours and hours. Okay. But I feel like this person definitely feels like they can carry you the long way. The long way. They can handle you. Like, it don't matter, like, whatever burdens is going on in their life right now. Like, they are very successful. Like, they're all about cooperation. Like, as long as you communicate with me, like, your obligations and what you got going on. I'm going to let you know what's going on with me. It's about balance. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like... I'm not that sensitive where, okay, you got kids, you got this and that, you got crazy baby father, nigga, fuck that nigga, I'm crazy too, like, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, like, I like you, so, I can handle it, I'm willing to take you on, so Virgo, like, this person is willing to take you on, and they really want to have a lot of fun with you, and I, I really want to say, like, they're very happy that you came into their life, because you bought them out of looking in that mirror and seeing something outside of their self you know what i'm saying because that's not who they are anymore and it's like they they have a new resurgence of life a new purpose of life you know what i'm saying so we did virgo let's get into libra i want to switch these decks up i really do want to switch these decks up real quick hold on y'all Let's see, what am I going to do with Libra? Let's get into the Gypsy deck. Let's find out what's going on with Libra. Let's find out. What's the tea? Tell me what's going on with Libra. How does this person feel that Libra is getting? 
getting into at this current moment. Hold on, I feel like I mix the book in here. Alright, give me four cards. You got the children. You got the amour. You got the letter. You got the whip. And under that, you got the birds. So let's tap, tap, tap in. Alright, you got the children. I don't know why. I, even though it's like the children right here. I'm hearing like a uh, chatter. Like, you know like how kids be overhearing shit that they ain't got no business hearing. And kids talk too fucking much. I'm hearing gossip. Because of something that a child overheard and spoke to someone. I, I don't know. Like, And then you got the birds right here. This is also gossip. Libra, I don't know why I'm getting gossip about like. Libra, if you've been on the phone talking to somebody on the low low. Well, I just heard for on a low low for the dodo, cause this is the king, uh, the queen of pentacles, the queen of diamonds right here. Okay, it's your smart ass. Listen, watch what you say around children, because it's like they be repeating shit. You know what I'm saying? Some about your messages and the things that you be saying. It's like your messages. It's like your messages could be getting out. Your messages. And it's just the, the queen and the king of pentacles. And the queen of spades. I just heard you take your heart right on out. It's something that. Can easily get confused. I heard. It could be taken the wrong way. That's what I'm hearing. And it's like. I just heard an abusive situation. It's like, I just heard it again, abusive situation. Are kids talking about an abusive situation? What the fuck is going on here? What's going on? Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, whoa. I just seen this deck. So let me go over here. What's going on? Tell me the truth. How does this person feel like? What, what, what's going on here? It's like the kids be talking to them. Tell me what's going on with Libra. It says the one you will fall in love with will not be who you expect it to be. I feel like it's not this person. It says don't walk backwards. You give me butterflies. Do something nice for them. I don't know why it says self love game too strong. I don't know why I feel like someone might have overheard. A situation about the children it could be messages it could be gossip it could be some things being said about somebody's relationship with their children 
or some shit that might have happened in the past with the children. Like, I don't know if the children... Because there's messages from... There's messages... I don't know if they can't see the father or is something here about oh okay you got the two of cups in the reverse and then you got the six of you got the two of cups in the reverse and then you got the six of swords so it's like someone is taking someone away from some people. It's like I'm taking you out of this. I'm removing you. It's like you need help because if I don't help you out of this situation, I don't understand. It's like the children bought this situation. It's like the children got other people involved. It's like the children were talking and repeating some shit. I want to say this shit and it got out. I want to say it could have got to loved ones about an unfortunate situation. I want to say with a lover. And like the mom could have been getting a beating. And it's like the one that you're going to fall in love with is not going to be the one that you expect it to be. Don't, don't walk backwards. Your self-love game need to be on extra strong right now. And there's somebody that is giving you help. That is giving you aid. And it's like the one that you in love with right now that's abusing you. That's doing this shit to you. That's not the, the one that love you. Is the one that's going to give you help. And somehow these kids. I don't know how these kids. In this message. And how these other people got involved. But there's somebody that is going to help. See you out of this situation. Where it's like you don't even have to think about it no more. You don't have to stress about it. It's like you and your kids are going to receive help. In a. And you ain't gonna because like the ten of the ten of spades is like the end of it. It's like you come into a realization that it's like you don't have to take this abuse anymore. The ace of diamonds is you receiving a gift. It could be a new house, new stability, a new car, something. But I really need you to keep it a secret because God, cause that shit about to make me emotional, and I, it's been a very fucking long time since I've done a reading where I got like some shit out like that before. But yeah, baby, baby, okay, Scorpio, what is going on, my Scorpio, baby? Let's see what we got going on for my Scorpios. What's the T E E? Let's get it. What's coming up? How's the person feeling? With my Scorpios, give me one card, send the energy. You got a connection, all right, Scorpio. So you got a connection going on. You got a deep connection. All right, you see, you got the music, you got the wine, you got the messages, all right? So y'all got a couple of different things that y'all deeply connect on, all right? Food, music, scenery, drink, a little smoke. Okay, what you got under there? You got the distorted feminine. Why are we having to bring this up, Jesus? Let's see what the hell this this is about, Lord. It says reparenting yourself, Lord Jesus. Okay, Father God, I am reloading. Let's find out what is going on. So I, I'm looking at this deck, so let's get into it. We got the connection. We got the distorted feminine and we got reparenting yourself, Scorpio. So listen, Father God about to go in deep. He about to check us because we got a connection here. So all right. 
So tell us how this person is feeling about the Scorpio. It's like they feel like they feel like there's a connection here, but it's like it's they could tell like you've been through a lot. You know what I'm saying? This person feels like you have been through your own personal struggle, Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they can look at you through, through all of the beauty and everything like that. Like they see past the facade. They see them bumps and scars and shit. They see them bruises. They see them triggers. You know what I'm saying? But it's like this connection that they got with you is like remarkable. It's like you can't fake that shit. So what God is telling you right now is like God wants you to acknowledge my Scorpion females. It's like don't allow your past and your darkness and the shit that you have dealt with, you know. To be unmasked and to tarnish this connection that you got. Don't let that shit show up. You better reparent yourself. Reparent yourself so that you... Because you know Scorpios can be very self-saboteur. We can be very self-sabotory. You know what I'm saying? So, let's see. How does this person feel about Scorpio in this connection? What was that that just flipped out? You got the judgment in the reverse. You got the magician in the reverse. And you got your strength. So. Hmm. Okay. So you got the judgment in the reverse. I feel like. Scorpio. And, and God. Why the hell do we have to have such a fucking deep ass reading? I, I want to say it's like you don't know your own strength. You don't know. I want to say you don't know how to put good boundaries um, against you and, and, and things. that It's like you will go and entertain people that you don't have any business entertaining. So it's like to some aspect it's like. You got a lot of skills, gifts, and powers, but it's like you almost lack responsibility because you are the tool. You are the power. So it's like you can't allow people that have no business having their hands on a gun, putting their hands and having access to a gun. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that's just like a criminal or very bad person getting their hands on a magician. And making that magician fall in love with them. And having that magician at their beck and call to do their bidding. And the magician knows morally that these things are wrong. But they're wrong to do. But because you love this person so much. You're so jaded by the fact that you love this person. That you're willing to allow your heart to... Get you to do things that you know that you... So that's dangerous. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like... This strength card here... It, it, like, that's what I'm getting. Like, that's the story that I'm getting, Scorpio. And I feel like this isn't more so about spirit trying to tell you how this person feels it's like i feel like it's spirit trying to tell you more so something about yourself because you got the ace of fire right here because you have a brand new start a new chance like i i feel like you have um you have something that you're going towards you have a new opportunity but it's up to you to to see it to its success don't do the things that you used to do that could fuck it up. Have strength. Don't go and put your whole fucking self out on the fucking plank. You know what I'm saying? And just like and let let people explore all your gifts and take advantage of you almost. Cuz it is something about you allowing people to take advantage of your gifts are things that they shouldn't even have access to. 
because it's like it's something in you that you just want the opportunity to allow someone to make you feel some this way I don't know what but I'm trying to say it's like It's like you, 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 give me guidance on this for Scorpio. Give me guidance. How does this person feel and how does it affect in Scorpio? What guidance does Scorpio need to get right now? I just got like, just, just out in the open. It's like, I just got out in the open. Because you got the nine of, uh, okay, so you got the park. The park foretells new love when very near, if distant, a false friend. So, you're definitely meeting new lovers, but at the same time, I feel like you're attracting a lot of false opportunities. Because it's like, it's like you're out in the open. And for people that are vultures, they can sniff out that distorted feminine energy you don't want the wrong people to get access to your gift because you expose and then the, the, the nine of clubs is someone that is very successful that is very popular that is going places that is a traveler that is a go-getter like they couldn't they couldn't beat their fans off with a stick. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you were public. You are you have you you are seen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hmm. You got and then you got the so it's like your money is going up financially. Things are going up for you. I feel like you got a lot of notoriety. A lot of people are talking to you. You are connecting to the right people. You have to fix yourself. Because you don't want the wrong motherfuckers to have access to you. So you have to have strength. I don't give a fuck how good they look. I don't give a fuck how much shit they talk. How well they're dressed. How good they smell. I don't give a fuck how good they did. I don't care. You are that bitch right now. Shit is hot. You have a lot of brand new opportunities for you. It's like everything that you were being praying for, that you've been wishing for, is being granted to you right now. I need you to show strength, Scorpio. What's the last card? You got the Amor. A sign that someone is looking at you with great love and longing. So this is going to be a public situation. And it says that the money safe indicates riches. If the shut shot is towards the person, it denotes a loss by speculations. We, uh, we, ain't, we ain't seeing no fucking loss. We definitely ain't seeing no loss. But uh, it's like the three of pen. I mean, the three of diamonds as well. It's like someone that. It's willing to put the energy in to help see you get to that public success. With that Amor card and all of, like all of this together, it's like they see it for you. They want to see you be famous. They want to see you reach your life purpose. It's like this person is like your biggest fan. They want to help guide you. To where you need to be. You understand what I'm saying? Make sure. Scorpio. Make sure. Because you're going to have a lot of people coming to you. Because it's something about you being out in the open. It's something about you being successful. And it's something about a lot of people. Wanted to be attached to you because they feel like you could fix them. They feel like you have the gift that you are the magician. But you truly don't know your power. You truly don't know. They do. 
they know only thing you got to do is put your little magical little fingers on them and you can change their fucking world don't allow people that are not deserving to get an, an inch within you because they'll take advantage of you all right scorpio i gotta wrap this up don't have that lack of judgment you see how this girl laid all out there like that listen I ain't got time for a Scorpio. Listen, y'all gonna have to book me for a personal reading. I ain't got time to be doing this with y'all today. <laughs> and I'm a Scorpio. And I already know. And that's why I'm like, mm, we ain't doing this. We gonna, we gotta wrap this up. <laughs> we about to go to we about to go to Sagittarius and see what I got niggas delirious. Okay. We ain't got that to do today. We shorten up. Down. So let's get on over here with my Sagittarius and see what, what what's going on with y'all. Sagittarius, what's the TGE for my Sagittarius? How does this person feel that is dealing with my Sagittarius? Y'all, why um that song caught on? Feel the rain on your skin. No one else can feel it for you. Only you can let it in. No one else. No one else. Feel the but it's the Baltimore mix though. You know what I'm talking about? Oh my goodness. I don't know why that just popped in my head. Oh, oh, you got the gate. You got the opportunities at home. You got the peacock, but I just felt like I need to put that back because it was attached to the gate. You got the whale. Give me one more. For Sagittarius, how does this person feel? You got the wolf. And under the, the deck, you got the envelope. So you got the whale. It says, Wisdom Keeper. I just heard big secrets. You got the gate opportunities and home. I feel like someone about to let you in on a big secret. I just heard an opportunity or windfall. You got unfolding surprises. And then you got the wolf cunning and stealth. And then you got that moon behind. Yeah, it's something coming out. It's some secret. I just heard coming out about some engagement. I know. I, I just seen this that. I seen this that. I think I'll get a double clarified by that other deck too. What's um coming out? What's coming out with Sagittarius? What's the T? How does this person feel about Sagittarius? I just heard it's an open situation. It's like you could come and you could go as you please. Open in this situation. You got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. I just heard it's not. Because they just say you could come and go as you please. It's like it's not going to really amount to what you think it is. And then you got the Nine of Swords in the reverse. It's like. They don't want the responsibility of like a headache. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like someone is like being very blunt and open and honest with you. It's like they're not keeping any secrets. They don't want to keep like no bullshit going. You got the hermit. So I feel like you may have to take some time and think about this because I want to say with the Sagittarius, it's like someone is being very blunt and very vocal and out and open with the fact that they date other people, that it's not just you that they're seeing. And it's like you may be seeing this on social media or like pictures. It's like you might have just been out with them, but they'll in several days later, they'll post pictures with them being out with their baby mother or so. And it's like, I don't know if you, it's like being able to handle all of that because 
the wisdom keeper it's like i feel like this person is too old to be keeping secrets with you and stuff like that like it's an open-ended situation it, it literally is it's like you have the choice to stay or you could go you could do it like it's not and they did not they don't hold no grudges they don't feel no type of way it's like very stealth very cunning it's like they know their ways about their self and they know their ways about the world and they know it's like how to manage their self and the people that come into their life almost it's like so it's like someone could have like an invitation or just like be having like a big girl or a big boy moment where it's like okay i want to have this conversation with you but i just you know i'm not it's like i'm not it's like I just want to be friends. It's like I don't want to uh, develop with you what you think. You know what I'm saying? It's like I don't want to spend a lot of time because it's like the um, cause it's like I have other things to do. So it's like I'm not going to be like kind of laid up with you type of thing like that. Like our place is kind of like where it is almost like. And it's just going to be that. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want no headaches. I don't want no secrets. I don't want you coming at me wild. If You know what I'm saying? So it's like. I'm not going to sit up. Late at night. Worrying. About you sending me no wild ass texts. I'm not sneaking doing shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the nine of swords are first. Like nah I'm not even going to be. No I'm not. So you got the Moonstone right here. Nurturing, Divine Feminine, Intuitive. Drawing power from the Divine Feminine. The Moonstone connects you to your Goddess Energy. Activating your intuition. The Moonstone can boost your clairvoyant gifts and metaphysical powers. Asking you to trust in the unknown. Beyond what you can see is in the realm. The reflective nature of the crystal is much like the moon phases themselves. The cycles of changing from the beginning to the full release. The moonstone balances the masculine energy with the feminine touch, teaching the art of receptivity and serendipity. It is especially potent during the waxing moon. These are the signs of Cancer, Libra, and Scorpio. And the planets of the moon. So I feel like. With this nine of swords in the reverse. I don't even feel like you were about to even allow. This information, this news or this. Open ending. This open ended invitation to even like ruffle your feathers at all. But that moonstone, I feel that you have a good balance of your masculine and, fem and feminine energy, and you can have to take it or leave it. It's like you really don't. I feel like I don't feel like you don't give a fuck about the situation. You got the uh the Zulite. Yeah, the the Zulite stone. This says cosmic serenity and peace. The cosmic forces are at play with the Lazulite, bringing serendipity, peace, and tra tranquility to anyone who crosses path with the stone. Lazulite comes from the Arabic word Lazaward, Lazaward, meaning sky or heaven, referring to the sky's blue color of the sown surface it stimulates the third eye drawing out psychic and intuitive abilities dispelling worry anxiety and stress and promoting a clear state of the mind the lazulite is when you need to have extra strength to heal addictive habits and to give yourself that inner peace against personal demons this is the sign of gemini sagittarius and the planet of jupiter And again, I just heard it's like you like coming to yourself because it's like I feel like you know what it is. Like you very much so know what it is. And I feel like you are at ease with this situation. And I feel like this is like water off the duck's back. Like you ain't even sweating this shit any fucking way. Like at all. It's like. 
I got other shit I could be doing. Like, I'm, I'm definitely not even going to be worrying myself about this. What is this? It just came out. What is this? The Five of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. So it's like, all right. So with this being shown right here with the Five of Pentacles and the Two of Cups, it's like, because I don't know if you can like really see that. Can y'all see that? Because it's like to where as though you're being shut out of one situation, it's like you're being led into a whole nother situation. So it's like, if this person didn't come to you with this bullshit and just like, be open, honest, and truthful, you could have wasted a whole lot of fucking time. You know, I feel like your maturity and the fact that this person was so blunt and let you know, listen, Abby, you can stare, you could go. This is me. This is what I do. This is where you fit in my situation. This is blah, 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 blah. And you just say, you don't know, no, I, I'm going to let myself out. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah, you kind of feel a, a sense of rejection. Because it's like, damn, I wasn't enough. Like, damn, this person is just like telling me that they gonna be dating me and all these other people, and I, I can come in and out, and I gotta see them posting. Like, hell no. Nah. Like, why the fuck do you think that I'm dating you and I'm getting to know you and I'm connecting with you and we just had such a good night, and then two or three days later you with a whole nother bitch. Like, I wasn't. Like, nah, that's that. You know what I'm saying? That's that five of pinnacles. It's just that shit don't make me feel good. Like internally like because the, the five of pentacles could be someone that don't that don't feel good you know what i'm saying like, it's like sick you know what i'm saying so and being rejected that makes you feel sad that's not cool so it's like this person could have put you down for someone to pick you right the fuck up because it's like you really do end up finding the true connection that you were meant to have and it's like you don't even have to question this connection because you give it to them and just as much as they given to you if not more if not fucking more so it's like water off a duck's back fuck that shit two two tears in a bucket fuck it like why why would i be upset about a motherfucker Telling me that this motherfucker got other dusty bitches that allow this person to do like nigga go the fuck on somewhere and die. Like oh, I'm so fucking serious about it. Capricorn, let's go. Let's see what's going on. Capricorn, let's see what is going on. We are making it our way through. What it do? Let's get the tea. Let's send, let, let's see what's going on with Capricorn. How is this person feeling about Capricorn? What is the T? Let's give me four cards. I want to marry you. They want to marry you. But you said something don't feel right. You said I don't want no kids. Got one foot out the door. And do something nice for them. But I feel like you, you damn near don't want to do it. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Look, look, Capricorn said I am already over it. I'm already the fuck over it. You got one foot out the door. They want to marry you, but some don't feel right. You don't want no more kids. Like, oh, it's something about these kids. It says block, delete, sage, pray, and move on. Lord Jesus, I feel like Capricorn is almost at their wit's end. I feel like it got something to do with these damn kids. It's like... Capricorn don't want no more obligation with children. And it's like, I feel like they have someone that really wants to go the full route with them. But I feel like Capricorn is not being honest and truthful because something don't feel right. I don't want any kids. I don't know if... This person wants kids and you don't. If they have kids already that you're not sure that you want to take on in a marriage sense. Because if I get married to you, like, I have a sense of obligation to build in a relationship with these kids. And I already got one fucking foot out the door. Like, this shit is already too much. I am already the fuck over it. And I, I don't want 
any fucking kids. I can do with you, but I don't want to. I, I'm, I, I, I'm already tapped out. And it's like, you, you may be wanting to do something nice for them. But it's like, I don't even want to because this shit was coming out in the reverse. Because it's like, I'm blown because of these fucking kids. Like, I, I don't... I don't know if I can do this. Sage block delete. They want to marry you, but something don't feel right. Capricorn is not knowing how they're feeling about these kids. They already over it. They want to do something nice for you, but they don't they don't know. Give me guidance about what's going on. How does Capricorn feel? How does this how are these how how what's going on? Baby, you got the fucking clouds. Like, this shit might just be, like, some unexpected shit. So, it's like, I don't think that Capricorn thought that they would feel this way. Or that the person that is dealing with Capricorn thought that they would feel this way. But this, this is like a shock. You got the fucking snake. This is like a lot of fucking work. Almost too much work. And I want to say that with it, the snake is like... The Capricorn is feeling like they are having to shed skin. They are having to grow in a rapid pace just to keep up with this job. Like, it's a job. It's a job. And then you got the fucking eight of fucking with the broken glass. I feel like they almost feel like they're cursed. Like, this is bad luck. Like, they are just... I, and I'm being blunt honest right now. Because I'm feeling drained right now. Just even trying to talk to you about this. Whoever this is wants to marry the Capricorn. I don't know if they come with a bag of kids. And just like young kids. And just like a lot of. But it's. I feel like ever since. Capricorn. Kind of like stepped into this situation. It's been one thing after another. And it's just been unfortunate chaos. I want to say like every day, especially if y'all live with each other. And if there's kids in that house that are not Capricorns. That is not Capricorns biological kids. That they now have the fucking responsibility of. It has been an absolute nightmare for Capricorn. It has been brutal toil and labor work and it's almost like the, the the eight of diamonds is like a caution it's like pay attention to your file your taxes pay attention to your money watch your spending like this person could be spending their money on children that are not theirs because they feel responsible because they love somebody. And I don't know. If I if I have to. Do this for the rest of my life. Just because I love you. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, uh Get somebody else to do it. Get somebody else to do it. And then you got 888. It says the cat indicates. Flattery. If near. If near the number 6. It foretells personal injury if near the number 29 or the number 30, it, it denotes strife. The number 8 means authority, prosperity, abundance, ambition, manifestations, giving and receiving, responsibility. It's the infinity sign. What comes and goes. It's like the constant cycle. And it's. And I just can't. I'm already over it. I just. I, I, I don't know how to do something nice for them. It's just. I'm, I'm over it. It's like. I just heard. I don't even want to be seen in this situation. It's like. I don't even want. These kids to even know my name. <laughs> like. Seriously. My God. All right.
let's get into this Aquarius what's going on let's see oh ooh, ooh. what's the tea with the Aquarius okay I just popping off like that you got the woman you got the funnel and you got the caterpillar the cattle pitcher what's one more card you got the crown what else we got going on with the Aquarius what's the tea with the Aquarius how is this person feeling about the Aquarius you got the door you got the grapes the hat and the ram and, and the butterfly I'm gonna go ahead and take that all right so you got the crown it says honor and respect honor and respect will come to you this is the dealings or relationship with the woman so honor and respect will come to this woman Funnel, a period of frustrations, lesson to be learned. All right. The caterpillar, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So honor and respect is coming to this woman. I know this is a frustrating period right now, but things are not going to always be this way. Stay focused, stay patient. You got the door. Opportunities are waiting for you. All right. You got the butterfly. A change for the better. See, I told you. Things are manifesting. You got the hat. You will be playing a different role. Okay? I am reloaded. You got the ram. A stubborn and aggressive person. Be careful of this ram. Alright? This is great. A time to go out and have fun. Alright? So, Aquarius... It seems like for you and love and just in general and the way this person is looking at you, it just seems like you've just been going through, I want to say like some tower moments, like not nothing like extremes. I feel like in your personal life, they see that you would like climbing up that ladder to success because it's like you're determined to reach the top and they really see it for you and they see you as someone that can be bullheaded at times you are very stubborn and when it comes to something that you really want it's like you're not going to let it go and it's like you will argue someone down about your thoughts and opinions and things and, 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 and stuff like that but um I want to say like that's what they like about you. I want to say that they speak highly upon you. You got the crown and then you got the hat there. So I feel like this person wants to like elevate your role in their life. Um, I feel like this is a very intuitive person. And I feel like this person sees the blessings that are coming into your life before you even see it. Uh, I think that this person can see how you get in your own way and this person I want to say I want to say spirit was guided guided this person towards you because with this ram right here I, I really do feel like you, your debativeness can like shoot you in your own foot sometimes how does this person feel about um, Aquarius Yeah, the, the five of pentacles. So, uh, and then you you have, then you have the emperor right here. So it's like this person is most definitely a leader. This person is a challenger. This person is a go getter. Uh, what is this? You have the ace of wands right here. Watch out for pregnancy, you guys. Watch out for pregnancy. And with this um, five of pentacles right here, I don't feel like right now is the time. Right now, you are trying to restructure and recreate yourself. You have a lot of talent. You have a lot of gifts. Why did I just hear? Okay, I feel like like you could have um, shot yourself out of a promotion. And like, listen, don't take it if it doesn't resonate. But um, you have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. 
So with that stubborn and aggressive person, it's like your role is changing, but it's like it's something that you have to change about yourself. Do you see with this uh, Ace of Wands? So it's like inside of you, it's like you're blossoming because you are um, being birthed into this new phase. Where I want to say it's like you are being blessed to be brought around a lot of entrepreneurs and people that have already successfully completed and struggled through the phases that you have been through and it's like this person sees you as a beautiful woman that is very talented but it's just stumbling upon their way and it's a period of frustrations and lessons to be learned yeah you may be feeling shut out yeah you may be feeling like um you're being locked out of a lot of opportunities even though that you have this, this skill and you're showing your skill but i feel like it's your attitude and it's the way that you because i want to say it's like almost like a, a level of entitlement and it's like this person is showing you like you can have people work for you, but you have to treat them and talk to them and deal with people in a certain way that make them respect you. It's like just because you're smart and, and, and it, it's a lot of responsibility that comes with this role. This person that is coming into your life is new. Is This person is definitely new. And again, watch out for pregnancy. Um, but they're going to teach you how to wear this hat. How to succeed in a leadership role. Because I feel like that's why you're not getting it. That's why you not you haven't been handed these positions. Because it's something that you need to blossom in developing you. And that's why God is surrounding you. And listen, these opportunities are waiting. I feel like you need to be able to take this criticism and stop being so stubborn and, and aggressive and be more lighthearted. And um, these things are changing for the better. And, and this not necessarily a love message for you, but at the same time, it's a message that you needed to hear because this is how this person is looking at you. You have the four of wands right here so again this is a lot of happiness this is celebration it's like this this person wants to celebrate this person wants to celebrate you this person wants to see you with your friends and with a group of people that understand you and that want to see you thrive in your position do you understand so and then what is this this is the and this has to do with job with work this is your work this is your responsibilities is your reputation so this has everything to do with your representation and how you carry yourself and what you're going to be known for for the rest of your life so this person is more um i feel like coming into your life in a nurturing stance because they want to see you be successful i don't really see anything about love like i'm kind of getting like that might be like a a work situation right there i don't know i really really don't know but um all right let's get into pisces treat me nice please let's see what we got going on for my pisces and we're gonna wrap this up i hope you guys enjoyed these readings uh, let me know down in the comments if these readings resonated with you and again if y'all want to book a personal private reading go ahead and hit that description box Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Uh, we got the Divine Masculine wants. We got the Divine Masculine. And then we got Sexual Freedom. Hmm. Divine Masculine is Divine. The Divine Masculine is Divine in the sense that he is wanting sexual freedom. So let's see why in the hell this motherfucker is wanting sexual freedom. Okay, Pisces. Pisces, treat me nice, please. Give me the tea. Why is this divine masculine asking for sexual freedom in the name of Jesus? You got the bird news messages. Well, he been communicating with people. 
someone is at a distance. Bride. Hmm. And then you got the moon cycles and changes at the bottom. All right, so and then you got the heart up under there, child, with the tree, child, and coins. Lord Jesus, Lord help me. Okay, all right, so it looks here like the divine masculine Pisces is wanting sexual freedom i want to say this person feels like there's a lot of success coming and money and luck and things like that but I, I feel like they don't want to be trapped in a situation like they want to be able to roam and to like experience something but i feel like it's something at a long distance that is kind of like got their attention and is holding it captive like they could be communicating with someone at a long distance it could be some something that has to do with business or a situation that they just feel lucky you know what i'm saying to have met to have found to have come in to have encountered this situation they feel like this could be their bride they feel like this is something that they can engage in that could be lucrative in the future or, you know, like I said, ever this is, and again, it says sexual freedom, so whatever, we'll take that for whatever, but what, whoever this is that they have met, that they are communicating with, that is at a distance, um, is causing the masculine to change. This person is longing for love and stability and growth now. I don't know if they weren't tripping on that before, but it's like that's what they want now. That's what they want now. Um, let's get into this. What's, what's going on with the sexual freedom? clarify sexual freedom until you got the book so it's like something hidden it's a secret it's like I, I feel like someone doesn't know all of the details you got the death card a coffin so something is being rewritten something is being removed something is being deducted uh god damn what is up with all these cards with Pisces why are you trying to put me through all this work at the end shit you got the anchor So I'm getting like changing positions because it's like the five of the five of diamonds is like a karmic lesson. So I want to say it's like and, and, it, and it also is like um I want to say that that means like uh, communication like through like the internet or something like that. Hold on, five five. Then you got the Ace of Hearts with the Fox, with this book, with the Secret, with the Jack of Hearts. Then you got the Lightning and the, and the Pig. Okay, oh my fucking God. So, I want to say, Pisces, there's definitely like a big change in the ending coming. Because I want to say someone is being greedy. Um... And someone is hiding something. Um, it's a connection that could be at a long distance. Like I said, this is a long distance connection. This is something that is far away, that is hidden. I want to say that it's been removed from you. So it's like there could be like a lot of changes in regards to someone's connection like y'all are not talking to each other y'all are not speaking to each other anymore like this is something that it's like it, you're, you're anchoring it in it's like it's permanent it's like you're getting whatever karmic lesson it was that you were supposed to learn from this 
You know what I'm saying? You got the wife, the engagement with the stability and the growth. And you got the three of fucking spades. The three of spades is like a third party situation. It's being backstabbed. It's being... That's like anger. That's frustration. That is confusion. You got the pig there. So to me, that, that gives greed. Um, But in this deck, the, the, the pig means... It says the, the pig... Uh... Whether near or far is an omen of phenomenal luck and of great abundance and high honor and ambition is attained. So it's good, but the three of spades is not good. I don't give a fuck what you say. The three of spades and the five of spades with the five of diamonds, that shit ain't good. So it's like something is being cut out and it's being change and alter permanently and it could be because of a third party situation and someone could be feeling like stabbed in the back behind it but it's like on both ends i, I want to say like it needed to happen because it's like ending some type of karmic cycle of some bullshit that just naturally needed to end you know what i'm saying like the lightning, regardless of how you want to look at it, is a tower moment. It denotes something that was already written before you could even think about doing it. It was it, it, like there were lessons that needed to be learned. It's going to create a lot of stability and growth, though. So it's like. I don't know, like maybe through the masculine's sexual freedom, like they found their self, like because the the six of clubs could be someone leaving one job and transferring all of their skills, knowledge, and ability to another position because it's like I've outgrown this position. I'm good, you know. And it's like maybe they 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 didn't want to tell you that yet. It's like they. This is the poet, so they're always creating, they're always expressing themselves. So if they're not expressing themselves to you, they're expressing it to somebody else with the fox here. This is someone that's found new love. And I feel like that's fucked up, but like I, that's just the way that it's just gotta be, and that's the way that it is in this situation. I can't really like more blunt than that like tell me what else is going on it's a professional woman that they're talking to what else is going on watch out for pregnancy this person says I don't want any kids and what's under this I have other obligations So, oh my goodness. So they might be talking to a professional woman, and it's in like whoever is dealing, whoever this masculine is going to receive their karma for this situation, regardless if it's good or bad. It's like, but it's like they may not be talking to you because it's like they anchored in it's like they might have in something with you because they anchored in something with a professional woman that they think is going to be their fucking wife or something this person may be at a fucking distance um watch out for pregnancy yeah especially with the cycles and the pre pre Pisces watch out for pregnancies this person doesn't want kids though there's a lot of things that this person is keeping hidden from you and keeping at a distance from you and I'm nosy I'm like really nosy. <laughs> I really want to know some more like I'm sorry okay that's oh, and I split the deck and it's the devil so it's like Pisces you feel or this person feels like they're bounded to you like they can't release you they can't let you go 
I don't know if it's like some obsession or addiction or if you're obsessed or if you're addicted to this person, but it's like some like entrapment or fixation where it's like you can't just easily walk away because someone has something of yours or they can't it's like a key or a lock or something that you have to release yourself from being tied and bound to whatever it is it could be the sex it could be money it could be like somebody somebody got you by the balls basically Pisces like ooh, why your di your damn shit is juicy like Lucy one more card and I'm done I'm done honey bitch you got the fucking lovers so it's like this person may want to bind you and someone else to them this sexual freedom I feel like this person wants to bind all options to them it's like this person don't want to let you go or the other person go. It's like want both of you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm, I'm done. I am motherfucking done, bitch. But he, but he, that is the fuck off, folks. Listen, I love y'all. Y'all click that like button. If y'all like this, please put it in the comments. Because if y'all like the video, if y'all comment, if y'all let me know. Listen, the bitch is back. I like when you're doing this. Keep doing this more. I will start doing it more. If I'm not getting any likes, if I'm not getting any views, I'm not going to waste my time. But if y'all like this, y'all let me know. I love y'all. Thank you so much for all of your love and cooperation. And y'all just like support me. I love you guys. Thank you for loving me. I hope y'all have an amazing weekend. And I'll see you soon. Peace.